Hello again, Jefferson Multimedia. Working on the song story, I've noticed a lot of us are having a hard time writing in first person. Like we're writing a speech that a person is saying. So I want to use one more example from a song I really like called Stronger by Kelly Clarkson. If you look at the lyrics on the left, summary over here on the right, a woman is leaving an abusive relationship. She's happier on her own than with her old lover. She's coming out of a time where she sees things in black and white and she sees them in color now. This tells us that life is more real and more beautiful for her. You know I dream in color now and do the things I want. And she's all alone now, sorry that she left him. He thinks she'll come back to him, she won't. The woman knows that she doesn't need a man to be happy. She won't be lonely on her own. She'll be free from an abusive guy who treats her badly. Her life isn't finished now that she's alone. It's only just begun. So this is my summary of these lyrics right here. Let me show you how most of us are writing from that summary. A woman is leaving an abusive relationship. She's happier on her own than with her old lover. And the woman says, I'm happy to be done with you. It's better on my own. Here we say she's coming out of that time where she sees things in black and white. She sees things in color now. Life is more real and more beautiful. From the woman, we write, things seem more real now than they were before. Life is more beautiful. X is gloating, thinking he won and she's all alone. Sorry that she left him. So the woman says, I know you think you won, but you didn't. Over here, the summary says he thinks she'll come back to him. She won't. So we wrote from this, I'm not coming back. Finally down here, the woman knows she doesn't need a man to be happy. She's not going to be lonely. She's going to be free from this abusive jerk. Uh, her life isn't finished. It's only just begun. So I wrote from my main character, I'm happy how things are now. It's better to live by myself than with you. My life isn't over. It's just begun. So from our summary here, we've written this over here. But we need to give it more detail so we can get more words written as a story out of the summary. I'm going to show you how to do that. So as we work with this, give us details. What do you think is going to happen in the story? We have to make up a story. Don't just tell us like facts and boring stuff. What's the backstory? How long was this relationship that they talk about in the song? How did it begin? How did it end? Don't just state your summary word for word. You want to add to it. I just said spill the tea. Imagine you're telling the story to your best friend. You're going to tell them how you feel about it. Make up ideas to tell us how your character feels at every step of the story. So if I look at this tiny little bit of my summary and I do what I say I'm going to do up here, here's the story that I made up from this tiny little idea. Twelve years. That's how much of my life I gave to this man. When we met, I was 19, just out of high school. Now I'm a 31-year-old, newly single mom. I love my kids, but they were why I stayed for so long. I thought if I filed for divorce, I'd destroy the family, but in reality, me leaving him was what saved it. He was never a husband. He was never a father. He was just there. Now, another way you can change things in your story Switch up the analogies. If they talk about something in the story, use a different one. Uh, they talk about color versus black and white. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to talk about a baby who's just learning to walk. And then I'm going to add more backstory in the relationship. How did he hurt her? I feel like a baby that's just learning to walk. I've been stumbling around for years. I listened to what my parents told me. I listened to what the church told me. I was supposed to stay. I was supposed to love him till death do us part. But our love died years ago. There's no fear anymore that I'll say the wrong thing or put away his coffee cup the wrong way. I can breathe easy in my own home now, and it hurts to realize that he would never allow me to do that while we were together. And then a little bit more down here. I'm just making up more backstory. If the ex is gloating, thinking he won the fight, what's she going to say? What's she going to say about him and how he does that? Another message from him telling me I should ask for forgiveness and take him back so the kids can have both parents. But the kids never had that. They had mom and mom's lazy roommate. He never helped with the chores or with the parenting. I was already on my own. When I left him behind, I stepped down to having only two kids instead of three. That's the description of a lot of marriages in my family and my friends. 
But remember, we're telling a story. It doesn't have to be yours. It can be the story of someone else you know. Or you could just make stuff up. Am I a 31-year-old newly single mom? No. But I know what it feels like to be close to someone who's not giving you anything and only taking. So imagine what that feels like. Don't just write a short little summary. Give us details. Tell the story. Make something up. This is all I got. Thanks. Bye-bye. We'll